why am I here? Why'd you bring me here? You're dead. I'm sorry. It's okay, you don't, you don't have to be worried. It's, uh, you're experiencing residual fear. It will pass. Your spirits don't have feelings. I'm not afraid. I know. Look, Nancy, you died a very violent death. It wasn't natural, and I need you to try to help me figure that out. Was I murdered? I'm afraid so. I don't remember anything. I know, it, uh, it's natural this early on. You, uh, you only died a few days ago. I need you to help me try to put the pieces together. So I'm gonna show you something. I just want you to try to help me out. There, I remember that place. Yeah, the bridge, uh, that's where they found your body. Do you remember anything other than the place? I remember a silver car. A silver car, that's, okay, that's good. Uh, a shotgun, yeah. Uh, shotgun, okay, uh, anything about, anything about the killer? What he look like, what was he wearing? He's bald. Okay, anything else you remember what he was wearing? Anything about his face? I think his name was Earl, I don't really remember. Earl. No, that's, that's good, Nancy, that's, that's good. Oh, no, no, it's okay. That just means it's time for you to go. Thank you. conviction for the Nancy Mills case. That didn't take long, and I'm sure her family's happy to have answers. Yeah, that's been blowing up in the media. It turns out it was the high school principal, Earl Penser. What a devastating bit of news there. You just can't trust people these days. Also, rumor has it, law enforcement, they had the help of a man who claims he can speak to the recently deceased. Yeah, I think we've heard about this guy a few times. Who knows what to believe? Talking to ghosts? I mean, come on. <laughs> I don't know. It's an unusual world we live in. We'll leave it at that. We'll have your weather forecast coming up. Also, our vigilantes responsible for tearing down...